Hello friends and welcome back to Immortal Legacy The Jade Cipher only on PlayStation VR. So here we are back again in Immortal Legacy The Jade Cipher still in the caves and uh, I know what you're thinking if you saw the last video you know that we made our way into the underground headquarters of the mercenaries that have been stationed on this island trying to find the twin fish jade well i decided to save you guys a little bit of footage of me walking through these caverns once again uh, because i remembered when i was down there that uh, there was still one of these explosives out here that we hadn't shot and, and blown up yet and uh, i thought i'd backtrack a little bit first just to see what it was I didn't expect it to lead anywhere because I think that the uh, the underground headquarters, the back door to that thing, is probably going to be uh, where our path takes us next. So I decided to come out here and check it out. And that's what I did. I backtracked up here to this uh, wall, shot the explosive, and uh, blew it down. So I see an item in there. I don't know what it is. Uh, hit record and thought we could find out together. So let's go check it out. Oh, well, it looks like a sword. It is a sword. That's a badass sword, too. Is that Valyrian steel? It's not Valyrian steel, it's copper. Look at that green corrosion on it. That is a copper sword. Or it could be silver, I guess. Silver has that dark corrosion on it as well. Let's wield it. Like coming in the frickin' barbarian. Now do I get to use this as a weapon? If I could have used this as a weapon, that would be badass. Uh, it won't let me use it as a weapon. Damn it. I'll trade my Rick gun for it. If I give you my Rick gun, will you let me use it? Because I imagine anything that, that I need that to fight is going to be pretty badass. All right. So let's go back to the headquarters now. I came up through this way, but the whole thing loops around. And I just came through the uh, evil piranha water that way. So I'm going to just loop back around the other way. And maybe we can avoid it. I really don't remember. I don't know that there's no fish this way, but I know that there definitely is fish that way. So, Or are fish. There are fish that way. So we're going to go this way in the hopes that we can avoid them. I really got to say that, uh, uh, and I know I've already said it before, but the sense of presence in these caves is absolutely magnificent. The, the graphics, the sound, the echo, the particle effects with the dust in the air. I mean, I feel like I'm walking through these mines right now. And for a, you know, a small Chinese development team to uh, be able to produce something like this is very, very impressive. This is almost AAA level work. It really is. Almost. The jank with the recording. I'm not too happy about that. I wish I could record every minute of this thing and, and, and show you all, but the, uh, the game will not allow that. Uh, this is not where I want to go. I don't think. I think that's where I found that uh, crane artifact. Okay, here we are. 
Now this goes downhill over here. That's where the piranha fish are at. Over here, this is where our little headquarters is at. And this is where we're going. See, this is where I blew, uh, blew the wall up. Right here. This is the long corridor that we walked down to get to these doors where I cut the lock off and walked in to find this place abandoned. We have pinup girls, strange looking pinup girls, but pinup girls nonetheless. whatevers and then uh, all these lockers just kind of disheveled and pushed out of the way Got more pinup girls roll a TP in the bed just in case you gotta go in the middle of the night cardboard box clean shirt and just stuff everywhere in here. I mean everywhere. Look at all this stuff, man. There's just stuff everywhere. We're going to get to it all one by one. But I just noticed something up here on this top bunk. I'm going to read this. Oh, come on, man. It's clipped into the bed and I can't read it. What if I recenter over here? that help it doesn't help all right I'm gonna just try to read what I can here it says sorry I shouldn't have said those things and I shouldn't have left I signed up with an excavation team seeking adventure and now I'm stuck on this island there's nothing here and worse we've got or they've got me doing admin as that's all I'm in good all as that's all I'm good for apparently we should be back in three or four months from now but all that is keeping me going is the hope that I will see you again when I get back I will finish law school <laughs> you were right that was what I, that was that is what I was meant to do I will do whatever it takes to make this right with you, Leong. Just learned that there's a moratorium on post. I hate this place. Hopefully this will reach you one day. So some dude, a law student, decided to put all that on hold and come here and work as a mercenary in this mine on this desolate island. And he's sending his girlfriend and I'm sorry note like as if he came here against her will and she's not already moved on with her life I mean if that dude told her hey I'm going and to this island and I'll be back whenever dude it's over <laughs> sorry about your luck I thought I could walk through that and walk through a lot of stuff in this game but not that apparently all right so Got some extra hatchets, some extra Molotovs. What is this? A drill or a nail gun? That's a nail gun with 80 shots. Well, if we're going to take this as a weapon, we need to we need to trade an empty weapon for it. All right, let's open this thing up and see what we've got here. Well, we don't have any empty weapons, do we? So if I want to lay something down, I'm going to be laying down some ammo with it. But that nail gun has a lot of ammo in it, so I guess we kind of need to lay something down, don't we? Hmm. 
I wonder what's so special about these hatchets. Can I throw them? Is that why there's ten of them? I don't know. Uh, I guess let's just lay down the regular pistol. I don't know. I don't want to lay anything down. How many does this thing have? I don't even know how many that has in it. So let's equip that. Because it has 20 shots. What about this? This has 51. So yeah, the pistol must stay. Alright, let's do the perimeter first and then we'll do the center. I just left a laptop over here that they're using for surveillance as if these thousand screens isn't enough. All right, I think that's going to do it for the out, outer perimeter of the room. Let's get to the goodies on the table, huh? Like Jun Gong Magazine. What is that? Test tubes? An old radio? Alright, let's see. The submachine gun. I wonder how many that has. So let's see what. We're actually kind of low on guns. The Rick gun has the least amount of ammo. This has more, so what are you going to do? Ooh, what is that? Some evil ass looking bugs. Didn't mean to drop it. It disappeared. Oh, there it is again. What does that say? It's just numbered. Those are like uh, beetles, I guess, with red eyes. This is an evil place with evil bugs and evil men. But I guess not too many evil men left, huh? Oh, another one of those. We'll take that. Can I take that badass Zippo? No, apparently not. There's some files and some blades. Hold on a second here. All right. Very good. Oh, looks like we got some noodles. It's weird, you can kind of interact with stuff, but it won't let you, like, grab it. Like, you can kind of barely smack it. Kind of like, um, it's like you're a ghost that can try really hard to interact with the physical world, but just can't manage to really do what you want to do. That's what it feels like. Alright, so we picked up nearly everything there's a projector here and it looks like a voice recorder over here let's see what this says after we knock the chopsticks over oh, it looks like somebody's been studying anatomy listen to that <laughs> how jank i just want to move this lid so i can read that thing it says there's a weakness. Alright, here we go. What does it say? It says head weakness. Highly developed sense of hearing. Be sure to remember do not make noise. Very strong maybe? Very sharp. Be careful. Alright, so it looks like uh, we're getting ready to f come into some freaky evil ass enemies who have a weakness 
in the brain and in the heart. They have a highly developed sense of hearing and sharp, uh, I guess, nails or fingers. Sharp hands, we'll say. So, see? We've got this to look forward to. So, we have to be on our best, uh, most intensive. What's that say? Can't really read that. All right, let's listen to this thing here. I found the twin fish jade. I'm holding it in my hands as I record this. It's exquisite. Such craftsmanship. I must be more watchful now. I cannot afford for Shikor to find me with it. Several days ago, the mercenaries excavated a tunnel. I went in to investigate. There were some elaborate defenses which they were trying to make safe. I noticed the vague outlines of some etchings on the wall. The significance of the markings did not elude me. They gave directions to a hidden entrance nearby. I slipped away and found it while the others were occupied. And I ventured in. The passage led through to a large hall. The jade appeared as it was in the ancient rendition, inlaid with rolled gold. Two ornate fish positioned head to tail, one with the face of a human, the other a skull. Oh, such wondrous detail. According to script on the walls of the hall, the jade is indeed the key to immortality, just as I recalled. But strangely, there are no details. Even more strangely, some of the expressions on the walls were patently not Ying Dynasty. So who else has been here? Could it be that the Emperor Shi really did discover the secret to immortality? <laughs> but no. It seems ridiculous. Anyway, the most important thing now is to keep the Jades safe and away from Shikor. And to do that, I must ensure my own safety. Zhu Zhuayin, April the 2nd, 2018. And the best way to ensure your own safety is by recording your every thought on voice recorders and leaving them all over the place. Obviously, they they had to find this guy, right? This is their headquarters, or maybe this is his headquarters. Maybe they didn't find him. Maybe this is his research team. All right, let's see what's on the uh, projector here. Can I not interact with it? It's got an icon on it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Clearly. Why would it be, uh, why would it have an icon on it if I can't do anything with it? I don't know, but I mean, there's only one button to interact with items, and that's trigger. And I'm triggering the crap out of this thing. Nothing is happening. Do I have an item that I can use with it? I don't think so. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to sit here and screw around. 
Trying to figure this thing out. I'm going to go see what lies ahead. Something tells me this thing's about to get crazy. Let's see if we can find this professor alive somewhere. He has the jade. And that is my key to immortality, son. Again, my moves feel just a little bit off. Are they drifting? Just very slightly. I've been playing with Oculus Insight for a week. Could be drift just because it's a two-handed weapon that I'm holding one-handed. Like if I hold it. Yeah, that's what it is. See, now it's steady. Interesting. I'm so used to playing with, uh, I've played with Oculus Insight for the last week and the tracking on that thing is so good. Both the Quest and the Rift S. Both very good. People can talk crap on inside out tracking all they want, but Oculus has figured it out. step back and shoot it with something how about a nail gun does that shoot it's rapid fire man it's not just a regular nail gun <laughs> I like it but I need something with the light on it, so. Oh, we got another puzzle box. My favorite, the Here They Lie Labyrinth puzzle box. All right. Do they all work the same? I think they all work the same. This is just like the last one. Just like that. Ooh. That one's pretty. Shiny. Clearly some ancient currency. We'll take it. I wonder if I get anything for collecting this stuff. Or if it's just put in place to uh, make me feel like I'm doing something. We found a generator. Alright. Hold on just a second here. Okay, let's start this bad boy up and get some lights going on in here. Yeah. Put some petrol in there. That's not safe. Alright, so I have a pull. Where do I turn it on at? There it is. Got lights, bitch. That means I'm coming for you with my nail gun, son. That 
thing took some shots, brother. Is it not dead? Chasing me? Obviously, the noise from that uh, the noise from that generator attracted that thing. But I, I put it down twice. I unloaded two guns empty into that thing. Why are my things drifting so badly? I never have move drift ever. I have aim drift. This might be the first game that I've actually had move drift in. Seriously, I've never had it. I've heard of people having it, and I thought that they were exaggerating, but here we go. This one has it. My controllers are not dead. They were fully charged. I don't know. Right, so we have a... Uh, rickety ass elevator here I wonder I wonder where this is going to lead I guess there's only one way to find out huh climb up the broken ladder no just joking we're going to give this thing a look guess we need to call the elevator This thing is drifting terribly. I mean, bad. Let's see where else. Oh, what the hell, man. This thing's taking elements from um, Resident Evil as well as um, The Last of Us. That last thing we just fought, that was 100% from Resident Evil 7. It was a black guy. Uh, black tar beast that kind of swiped at you just like in Resident Evil and here now we have this this looks like something out of The Last of Us man that's terrible I don't want to get close to that thing but Taking shots like, like it ain't no thing. Crap. We have to run. Better stay dead this time. A artifact. Is that thing some kind of fungus? I guess he must be part of Bravo team. That's what you get for acting casual in dangerous places. Wonder where his pals are. Okay. Look at my hand. This is how bad my aim is for my move is drifting. I think I need to restart my system. Because literally, I'm holding both of them exactly the same, but look at the right one, how it's just completely bending backwards. That's just terrible. Alright. Well, I think this is a good place to stop anyway. We've gone a little while now. <sighs> There's that stench of death again. Ooh, that smell. Da -da -da -da. 
Can't you smell that smell? The smell of that surrounds you. Da -da 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 I guess I should save my ammo. Alright, anyway, we're gonna cut it here, take a break. We've been going a little while and things are starting to get kinda weird. Oh, it looks like we're outdoors. We are, we're outdoors. Oh, there's a waterfall over there. That's cool. Anyway, I'm digging the hell out of this game. This is awesome, and it keeps getting better and better. I'm almost fully acclimated now to the unique control scheme. It's starting to feel more natural to me now. I can play with it. And I'm enjoying the hell out of this. What do you think about it? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you like what you see here as much as I like playing it, click the like button. Subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell. When we come back, we're going to go down this hole and kill what's in it. Unless it's that professor. And we might kill him anyway. But anyway, until then, I want to thank you for watching. And I will see you another day from another game. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.